we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future Okay Gets the wind out of me. Right. If I get the chance, I'm going to wash it. But we'll see. I'll uh, turn you off for now. Not the greatest streak, but yeah, had a nice day. Load it up. But um, I think I need to tighten that up uh, and I definitely want to give it a quick clean so uh, we'll do what we can when we can I'm going to try not to knock this over because it's a real oh, problem that side stand right okay I'm going to head off route slightly and um, I know there's a petrol station in front of me out there somewhere I've got to work my way around alright, no wash down snow everywhere though. Okay, don't want to watch this boring bit. We're full. I've adjusted the chain. Muy bien. I think I'm heading that way. I think. If I have to turn around, I will. So we're back on the amazing NT60. Folks, seriously, even if you don't want to ride all the way down like I have, get a ferry across from Portsmouth, if you're from the UK, that is from Portsmouth to Santander, 
and um, and just a ride around this area of Spain. It's just awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, there are no words. There are no words. So what happens is the uh, the B line app will always adjust itself to a new route. And because I'd ignored the turn off, that I'd rode straight past without even glancing down, um, which was the N360, I continued and it basically uh, trotted a new route. Okay, what's the GoPro battery dead? Absolute rubbish. Yeah, and that's the best battery I've got, so um, I don't know how today's going to go. Climbing again. So yeah, I've done over a thousand miles on this trip so far, and uh, all I've done is oil the chain and uh, tighten it, because obviously you do expect the chain to stretch. That's what they do. Um, I've got plenty of adjustments still on it, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. I'll take it easy on these bends, aren't I, in the, in the dark north face side. Like I said earlier, I wasn't sure if I was going to take this road or not, but um, clearly it's uh, it's going to be a nicer ro riding road, but um, not not so nice if the if the bends are going to be icy. Um, I'm definitely going. I'm definitely in the snow line again now. So yeah, when it's wet like this, I think uh, it's sensible to take it easy. It's never going to be as bad. Surely, surely it's never going to be as bad as it was yesterday. But black ice would be a lot worse. At least with the snow, you know, you know what you what to expect. But black ice, it might look like a little bit of wet road, but it could be a bit of ice, and you hit a bend, that's you off. So that's my third GoPro battery this morning, and we're only on half past twelve. What's that, a couple of hours? Not even that. It's a real shame that. That would have been a nice photo point if they'd uh, took those little conifers away. Never mind. Like I say, I've, I've got this battery. This battery's lasted longer than the GoPro one. But like I say, when I put it in this morning, um, it, it only read 85%, but it still didn't last very long, did it? But, Yucca. Looks a bit industrial. I kind of was hoping for more. There's a lot more traffic here, I've noticed. Had a bit of fun on that last section. Big sweeping bends. And Well, this isn't Yucca then. Oh. Said Yucca on the side of one of those buildings. We're not really using the indicators too much in this country. I just don't in the UK either. 
see Yaka, Yaka. Yakarana. I don't know, you probably can't make it out on the GoPro, but over in the distance where those clouds meet the uh, mountains, all the snow line. Oh, clearly you've seen me going in and out of that quite a few times today. And I'm probably going back into it, I think. Anyway, save the battery. Pulled over there because um, I could see the 260 going off to my right. But that's the other end of the 260A. So, um, no, I've, I've actually left the 260 now and I'm on the 330 towards Yapa. All good in the hood. Yeah, so I've noticed my chain must have been really loose yesterday because when I was pulling off the first gear, you could feel it sort of jumping. So uh, I'm really glad that I've uh, tensioned that. So um, I'm not sure how good this road's going to be. So uh, I'll let you go for now and uh, I'll catch you later. Alright, that, that was a pleasant experience. Uh, young guy in there, uh, young guy, sound old than I, that's because I am. He, uh, yeah, brilliant, he just come out. I thought it was going to be one of those touch screen things I've been doing most of this trip. And uh, he come out, filled the tank up for me. Well, so oh dear, look at that. Ooh. I wonder. Is that a little lucky? Yeah, he's only gone and done it. Give it a bit of a clean. It's not perfect, but uh, I think you'd agree. That's not too bad, is it? See my little problem there. <laughs> Fix that when I get home. Okay, so uh, I'll have done my gloves and uh, get on. Okay, is it normal that I feel that good that my bike is now clean? And I didn't realise how dirty it was until I looked at it just then. Awesome. It's now spit and span. Of course it needs a polish, you know. Tanks a little bit scratched up. I'll sort that out when I get home, but uh, yeah. Happy days, clean bike. Let's hope it stays that way. So, um, I just lost my route again, the connection between the device and my phone. I think it was the phone, I don't, I think it's something, a glitch with the app. It just switched itself off, so it wasn't telling me where to go anymore. So, um, 
just a couple of miles back it said I had I had 98 kilometers to go and now I've got 81.4 so um yeah, it says I'm doing 93.9 kilometers an hour but I'm not so that's still so let's continue no more traffic wow wow look at that oh i think we're going to see a bit more of this look at it oh look at that and it's aqua blue i don't know if you can pick that up on the gopro bit Okay, <laughs> check that out, I found somewhere to stop, um, this is obviously a reservoir, you can't see it but behind those trees is a huge dam, so this was obviously a, um, a valley at one point, but this is awesome, L listen. nothing but birds this is the n240 still i believe i'm i'm just having the best time um but there you go there's a car coming look how rude awesome can you hear that i can hear a stereo from out here that's my age isn't it Right, but that is aqua blue. I hope you can all make that out. And let's go and have a look at the Herald. I am loving it. Yep, the Timson tyres are, are definitely going. But uh, at its little wish wash. Can't see. But um, I think you'll, uh, oh. There's a bit of muck on it again, but uh, I wish I'd filmed it properly. I'm hoping that I've got it, that uh, how dirty it was prior to me giving it a little jet wash. But that'll be it until I get home, and then I'll give it a proper polish and uh, some more ACF 50. And then, um, yeah, more ACF 50 on it. That's definitely needed. But it looks pretty good now. So... Um, I'm absolutely loving it. I've got to say, I'm loving it. I don't like the tyres. They're, they're going to be changed. Um, I might uprate the rear suspension. Um, but we'll see. For what I use it for, really. Do I need to spend too much? I don't think so. But here we are. And the temperature's got to be uh, 20 degrees. Let's see what the Chinese... Uh... No, it's still 10 degrees, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I believe that. It's definitely um, above above that. This is uh, UK summer weather now. But um, I'm going to keep on riding, and uh, I've got about another 50 kilometres, I guess, till I get there. Happy days. I just can't get over where I am. I've seen one car. I've been stopped here about 20 minutes. And I've seen one car. I'm exaggerating. Probably not 20 minutes, but not far off it. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying earlier that I'd love <laughs> I'd love to to ride back rather than getting the ferry now but um, that won't be happening it almost looks volcanic I'm guessing it must be. 
rest at the moment. Um, instead of heading west and going to Santander and getting on the ferry back to Portsmouth, wouldn't it be great just to turn right at the end of the Pyrenees and head into France and go back up the west side of France, up the coast.